Hello. Today we are looking at how to install and use Wine 5.0.1 on a Chromebook. There are a couple of disclaimers which we need to mention before starting the tutorial. You will need a Chromebook with an Intel or AMD CPU and Linux apps support. Chromebooks with ARM 64 CPUs will not work. Next, after installing Windows applications with Wine, it takes a very long time to launch it but the application works as expected. Lastly, not all Windows applications work with Wine, but we added a list in the video description of all the apps that should work. Let's start. Firstly, we will enable Linux apps on our device. To do this, we will go to our system settings and click on the Linux icon on the left panel. Now we will turn on the Linux apps. Now that we have enabled Linux apps on our system, we will move to the next part of the installation process, which is to run several commands in a terminal, which will install Wine. All the commands are in the video description. Now we will copy the first command and open a terminal session from our app menu. Next, we will paste the command into our terminal, either with a two-finger click on your terminal or click Ctrl, Shift and V together. This command will enable 32-bit architecture for Wine on your system. This command should run automatically as soon as you paste it into a terminal session. Now we will download the Wine security key with the next command. Now we will add the security key to our system. Now we will install a text editor which we will use in the next step. Now we will open the source file of our Linux apps with the text editor and add two lines of code at the bottom of this file. Please take note that this is a keyboard based text editor and your mouse won't work in it. To close and save this file, press Ctrl and X together. Now, press the letter Y, press Enter. Now we will add another security key that Wine requires. Now we will update our system repositories of our Linux apps. Now we will install Wine. Press Enter to confirm the installation. Now we need to install three additional packages which Wine requires.
Click on Install to confirm the installation. Click on Install to confirm the installation. Click on Install to confirm the installation. As you can see Wine is installed. Now we will install the Windows version of Audacity, as an example with Wine. So we will start by downloading Audacity. Now we will move the installation package to our Linux folder in our file manager. Now we will rename this package to audacity.exe. Now we will install the package with the next command, you can change the package name to the application which you want to use. As you can see the Windows installer has opened up. We will install Audacity now. Unfortunately, my screen recorder has crashed during this part of the installation, so we will see you in a few seconds. As you can see Audacity is now installed and works. However, in Chrome OS a menu launcher for the Wine application was created but it most likely does not work so we need to change it. To do this we will install a menu editor. Press Enter to confirm the installation. With the last command, we will launch the menu editor.
Now we will change the command to launch our application. Go to the Wine section and choose your package. Now we will empty the Working Directory section. Now we will change the command to the executable package of our application. Press Ctrl and H to show hidden files. As you can see the Wine folder looks a lot like Windows and your package will either be in the 32 or 64 bit folder. Now we need to add the word wine before the path to the executable package of our application. Save the launcher. Now we will go to two URLs to apply two changes. This is optional and your package might not require it. Both these URLs are in the video description. On this page, we will enable the highlighted section which will enable audio input for Linux apps. And on this page, we will disable the highlighted section which should fix any display errors which you might encounter in Linux apps. Now we will reboot our Chromebook. Now we will go to our system settings, to the Linux app section to see if audio input is enabled. If it is not enabled, enable it now. Sadly the process is not completely finished yet because there might be two launchers now for your Windows application. So we need to launch our menu editor again and remove the one launcher. Make sure that you keep the launcher which we modified previously, and if both are the same, remove one. As you can see there are still two launchers so we need to reboot our Chromebook one more time.
Now we can launch Audacity. As you will notice, it will take a long time to launch. My screen recorder crashed during the launch, but it does work. So it is possible to install Wine and Run applications. Some applications might launch faster, and if you maybe have some ideas about how to launch applications faster then please let us know. Enjoy Wine.